of this month's show of WPRP. I'm Ariel Finley. And I'm Roberto Mayo. Well, here we are, our very first show of the year. Can you believe we're finally seniors? No, I can't. It is amazing how fast the last three years have gone by. We've seen a lot of change during our time here. One thing I know for sure is our WPRP team has changed. Every year, some graduate and others join. Here's Kyler's introduction of the, this year's new team. It's going to be a great year. Speaking of new here at PRP, Kyle took a closer look at our new field hockey team. This year at PRP, some of our Lady Panthers have made history. A new sport, field hockey, was formed giving our girls more opportunities to play a sport and be involved. We started field hockey because we had two or three girls that came down and they played field hockey in middle school. There was interest in the sport. It is a KHSAA sanctioned sport. So if we have interest, then you know I feel like we should offer that sport to the to the to the kids at PRP. Um, and we really my main goal of starting field hockey was to expand girls sports and give more girls an opportunity to play. There you go. Come on, Monty. Get it back. I joined the field hockey team this year because it's my last year. I wanted to try something new, and we just, it's our first time doing it, so why not do it? I joined the field hockey team because I played in middle school and a lot of my friends were doing it. I joined the field hockey team because it was new to the school. It sounded really fun to try and my friend Jersey is really good at it and she asked me to play. You got the advantage, stay on it, hustle up. She needs backup, stay with her, all the way down. I started the team because when I came they didn't have it but they had everything else I wanted so I brought field hockey here. Next year, for anybody who didn't play field hockey, you should really play. It's really fun. It's something new. Um, it's not hard at all. Um, everyone on the team is great. So yeah, you should come out and play. Uh, in the future, I'm hoping that possibly we could win championships and be a good team. Come on! Come on, Jersey! I think it's great that we have a new sport. Good luck to the new team. We also have a new class this year. As you all know, in fifth period, we have an intervention. Laquan and his team went out to get the scoop. Inside these walls, there are more than 1,800 students, and that have seven periods. Let's see what the fifth period is all about. Hello, PRP. I'm here with Jeremiah, and what do you think about intervention? Um, I like it. It lets me get a lot done that I need to get done with in a day, so it's, it's a fun period. Hello, PRP. I'm here with Macy. Um, Macy, what do you think about intervention period? I really like it. I get to see my friends in it, and I have gym, so usually you can either study or play basketball, and Mr. Mullinex and Mr. Pada, they're really cool, and they let you just chill, and if you got work, you get to do it. Hey, PRP. I'm here with Trey. And Trey, what do you think about intervention? It's all right. It's a good time. Do your work. Get your work done. PRP, I'm here with Janae. Um, Janae, what do you think about intervention? I mean, it's cool. I have Miss Dimley, so like we watch movies and she teaches us how to sew and we study and read books and stuff. I'm Laquan Richardson, reporter for WPRP. If you were bullied, how would that make you feel? Why not treat others the way you want to be treated? Bullying is not a game. It affects people's lives. We can stop bullying with one simple task. Be kind. Be kind. Be kind. Be kind. One thing that makes PRP different is that we have so many different ways to be involved. Right. 
So Caleb and Justin decided to look at a few of them. Hello, my name is Justin Decker. And I'm Caleb Barber. And today we are talking about the fun activities here at PRP. Mr. Pritchard, why did you decide to become one of the chess coaches here at PRP? Well, I have been playing tournament chess for 13 years by the time I got here in the first place. And I figured it was kind of a natural fit as far as a way to get more involved with the school and to spread something that I love and have been around my entire life. I think people should take up chess and I think people should join the chess club because chess promotes critical thinking skills. It gives you a very logical, orderly, sequential way to think about the world around you that's applicable to a large number of different fields, both inside of school and outside of it. Well, I joined student council because I really liked the idea of helping out others and I really liked the uh, the food drive that we did every year with uh, the Halloween and I really liked that because I'll, I've always liked helping others. Others should join student council because it is a great way to get involved in your school community. You, and what exactly do you do in Games Club? At Games Club you, sit or, you can sit with your friends and socialize, interact with other people, you can sit and play games, video games, card games, play on the computers and so on. If you don't have anything better to do on a Friday night and you want to hang out with your friends and you have nowhere else to go, you can just sit in the library and just play games with them and have fun. They meet from 2.20 to 3.50. Gabe, I would like to know, what prompted you to join this team? Well, I've always really liked competing academically and going to different schools and just trying to see how good we are compared to them and always try to win a trophy. That's good, that's good. Uh, could I ask you, what exactly do you do on the team? Well, we go to different schools and we compete in different subjects, being math, science, social studies, history, all those different types of things. And we do writing and we do quick recall, which you buzz in and answer questions. And it's, uh, I just like it because it's really fun. With over 40 plus clubs here at PRP, there's one for everybody. So which one are you going to choose? I'm Caleb Barber with WPRP. It's important to stay involved. It makes high school so much better. Speaking of making things better, Roberto, did you notice the first floor bathrooms got renovated this summer? Yes, I did. Let's thank Lowe's for providing some of the funds to make it happen. I think everybody's happy that that was done. For sure. Next, let's look at a story that we did this summer about two brothers doing amazing things. We spent a few hours with the family at their home to get the story. In 2011, Ryan and Logan Flynn started a nonprofit organization called Celtics Cares, dedicated to helping children's charities around the world and close to home by holding charity drives. Well, ever since I was a little kid, my parents raised me to give back. I've been given so much and I uh, have always felt compelled to give back. Well since we were little my brother and I both we enjoy helping people a lot and we've both been blessed with lots of things and there's a lot of kids out there who haven't been blessed quite as much. So when we're planning a charity drive First, we usually make contact with always children's organizations. We see what they need, uh, how we can help them, and uh, what sort of things we can collect. Their first charity drive was for the World Pediatric Project in Belize. When we do our first drive and we went to Belize and delivered the, the toys and, um, and games and everything to the children waiting to get their surgeries, that it felt great. and. That feeling of helping people like that, you, you can't really just stop there. You, you want to help more people after seeing their reactions to that. There will always be a need. There's always going to be someone who needs help. Uh, there's always going to be someone that 
uh, needs assistance and as long as there's someone that needs assistance, we can be there to help them. The Director of Community Engagement at U Spiritus explains how vital organizations like Celtics Care is to the local youth they serve. Well, we really appreciate Logan and Ryan doing this donation drive to collect all this amazing stuff for our kids. It's a pretty powerful message that we can send our kids that people care about them and want them to have a good summer and that means a lot to us and to our kids. So we're pretty excited about that. Because otherwise we have to go out and buy him as a I believe that if all the young people of the world did something for uh, someone else, that the world would be such a better place. The world would be perfect, really. What Celtics Care is about, we'd, we may not be able to make a difference for everybody in the world, but we can make a difference for some people. It was a lot of work, but so much fun. And it's always a good thing when we find inspiring stories like Ryan and Logan's. I agree. Well, that's it for this edition of WPRP. We'll leave you with a look at this senior spots. I'm Roberto. And I'm Ariel. See you next time.